alles? Is it allem, alle, allen? Is this one word being declined or is this many words that look similar? If you don't know, watch this video. Too long of a lesson for a short, too short of a lesson for a long video, too important of a topic to be ignored. Welcome to today's Shallow German Deep Dive. Hallo Deutschlerner! A lot of my recent videos have been super detailed deep dives into broad topics, so today I thought I would try to go to the opposite extreme. Let's talk about two little words, alles and alle, and figure out why picking the right one seems to be so troublesome for German learners just like you. At first glance, these two words both look like the English word all, and the last letter or two are probably just decided by the gender of nouns or whether or not Venus is in retrograde or something. In reality, only one of these words is actually translated with the word all in English. The other one is usually translated with everything. Alles is everything, and alle is all. All right, that's it, folks. Wrap it up, pack it up, put away the cameras and stuff. We're done here. Wait, what? He says it's not enough information and it wasn't clear enough. Fine, let's see how it's used and let's break it down. Ich lese alle Bücher von Angelika Bohn. I read all of the books by Angelika Bohn. Ich mag diese Bücher. Ich habe sie alle gelesen. I like these books. I have read them all. In the first example, alle is a kind of article that is usually called additional dare words in German courses, but only because calling them definite articles would confuse students. No matter what you call them, it is a little word that you use in front of a noun to grant that noun a certain amount of specificity. In this case, all of the things within that category defined within the sentence, that's what we're referring to with alle. As with all other kinds of articles, the ending has to change based on the noun to which it refers. So how did I come up with the E at the end of the second example? There's no noun after alle. Where did this decision come from? In that sentence, alle is referring back to the books in the previous sentence. Since they are plural, I use the plural ending at the end of al, i.e. alle. This does mean that alle is not always alle. It can be alle, allen, allem, or even alles. Er schiebt mit aller Kraft, aber die Tür öffnet nicht. He pushes with all of his might, but the door does not open. Sie teilt ihre Schokoladen mit allen Kindern. She shares her chocolates with all of the children. Wie wollen Sie Ihren Döner? Mit allem? How do you want your dinner? With everything? Ja, ich möchte alles darauf. Yes, I want everything on it. In the first example, alle is in the dative case due to the preposition mit, and the word kraft is feminine, so we use the ending er. In the second example, children are plural, so the dative case requires us to use en, so allen for that version. This is all well and good, but the last two don't have nouns to which they are referring, so what's going on here? This is actually our friendly foe, alles. This word is a kind of placeholder for when we want to say all of that stuff, but we don't want to go into the specifics of exactly what that stuff is. In the case of a döner, alles refers to vegetables, sauces, and other extras that go inside the pita. Rather than saying alle Gemüsearten, alle Soßen, and alle Zutaten, you use the generic everything, or alles. That's exactly what everything is doing in English, too. It's this nebulous, indistinct grouping of stuff that includes all of that stuff over there, but what that stuff is cannot be defined or is simply inconvenient to do so. Here is another example. Woher weißt du das? How do you know that? Ich höre alles. I hear everything. What is this everything that this person hears? All of the gossip, all of the chatter, all of the snide comments, all of the things that you thought were secret. It's not only inconvenient to list out all of that, but it's also more ominous if I say everything or alles and just leave it up to the listener's imagination. To boil it down, the difference is simple. Do we have a defined group of things to which we are referring and we are choosing all of them? If so, we need al plus some sort of ending that fits the group or the gender of the noun. Do we have a nondescript group of stuff that we don't care to get into the specifics of? Then we need alles, or if it's dative, allem. Now to trigger the native speakers who are watching this video, do you order your dinner mit alles or mit allem? 
Start that argument in the comments down below. Das ist alles für heute. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.